Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the routings. I am just going to create a new project, and then we will start with the routing code. So that the reason of creating a new project is we are just going to start with the routing from the basics. These are the steps that we are going to do in this video. We will make a new project. We have to at least the two components which we will we will generate them and then we have to add some code for uh, routing and uh, then we will make some uh, anchor tag uh, kind of link so that we can just go from one screen to another screen all right so one more thing guys before just going to start there is a two way for going with the routing one is you can select the routing when you just creating the new project i'm going to show this also and sometime you select no when you just uh, uh, make your new new project then you can also add the routing in the middle of your project also for that you have to run this command i'm just going to show you everything all right but don't worry so first of all let's make a new project and just start with that ng new and my new project name let's say routing demo routing demo i just hit the enter and when you just uh, run it at the initial level it will ask you to that would you like to add angular routing yes or no all right so if you do make a yes then your routing module is already added here and if you just select no here and in the middle of project you just uh, find that now you need the routing then you can just uh, run this command the both thing will have the doing the same work all right so i am just going to start with the routing so I'm going to yes here and now it will ask for the CSS and the SAS and all. So now it will just take around two to three minutes to just set up the project. So we can just save the video length so that I am just going to post the video. Now the project is installed here. Uh, this is the project that's, that is just set up here by us. So now what we have uh, to do the next step. So first of all, let's open this project inside the code editor so just write here routing and just use code dot and just close the previous one terminal oh, sorry project all right so after this we need to make at least the two component and where this component has placed they will be placed inside the app so just make them two component also and uh, yes uh, uh, before that i am just going to show you uh, the routing module so this is the routing module so when our components are generated we will export them here and we will apply the links and all all right so just write here ng g component and component name so let's say my component name is user or you can just write a capital users now you can see that this component is created here now let's make one more like uh, user detail and hit the enter and this one is also created here let's import them inside the app dot routing app underscore routing dot module just import something from and your component path like uh, users and its component and after that just import one more uh, route which is we just make with the name of detail form mm -hmm. and let's put the path here details and after the details the component path and just write here user and user details now we have the all components here now inside the routes array let's make a object and we have to put here two properties with the name of path let's say the path is users and on a users path we will just show the component which component uh, users component perfect now let's make a comma here and define one more path uh, let's put the path here like details 
and the component will be user details perfect so now these are ready but now uh, we have to perform one more thing that is we have to make the anchor tags for them so for that let's go on the app.component.html there is a lots of code and just start this project also so just write here ng surf and let's delete this complete code from here and just make simple h1 tag like uh, app component Alright, so let's wait until this project is just started serving. This is done, and so that's we can just simply write here localhost for like this. Right, so now let's make some links here. So, first of all, I uh, we have to define the two things one is the anchor tag, another is the router outlet. The router outlet is a uh, area where this component will be uh, just fast all right let's see that how we can do it just use the anchor tag and here we don't need to define the HRF just simply write here router link in the router link let's put here users uh, this one right and uh, here we can just simply write here go to users all right and after that let's make one more anchor tag and here we can just write our details and go to user details all right so these uh, we can just put them in the uh, with between them we can just put here br tag so that we can just provide some space here after that we must have to add the uh, router outlets so just define them router minus outlet And when we just link uh, click on this link the user component will be placed in the between them all right so now let's see that how it's working whenever I'm just going to click on the users the path will be changed and between this uh, routers outlet the our component will be placed here when I click on the user detail this component will be come here all right so this is the way that how we can just simply put the simple routing in the upcoming videos we will learn about the more things like how we can pass the parameters how we can pass the data and how we can just make the 404 page and all so don't forget to subscribe my channel please like this video bye bye take care